suggests the cybersecurity attack at the University of Rochester is leaving personal information for faculty, students, and staff at risk. Alex Love spoke with staff union leaders today as well as with an expert on the matter. He joins us now in the studio with the latest developments. Alex. That's right. The FBI is now involved in the investigation, Isabel. Authorities haven't determined the full scope of what specific personal information online is at risk, but they're urging everyone in the university community to change their passwords and check your accounts for any suspicious activity. When Lacey Harrison, who's vice president of the 1199 SEIU union chapter for University of Rochester staff members, heard about this cybersecurity threat, he knew members were at risk due to how much their work revolves online. Pretty much all their information. I mean, when you think about it, uh, marital status, uh, all the you know social, uh, the demographics, um, you know where they work, uh, shifts, um, how much they make, social security numbers, um, you name it. I mean, anything that pertains to being an employee um, is out there. This data breach impacted 2,500 other organizations across the globe. So far, the University of Rochester IT department determined this cyber attack, quote, resulted from a software vulnerability in a product provided by a third party file transfer company, putting the entire university at risk. Those who specialize in cybersecurity say attacks on universities are not unusual. Third party attacks are very common, not only in higher education, but a lot of other types of organizations that are out there. So when you are doing business with a another organization. It's a struggle to do that sometimes just because different systems talk differently to each other. We've spoken with the labor relations director um, this early this afternoon. Um, our plan is to actually meet with them to discuss different plans of how we can go about um, adding some additional measures of protection. Authorities have not determined how much personal data of students or employees was hacked or taken. The University of Rochester is now, quote, strongly urging everyone with accounts and online profiles tied to the school to take action to monitor personal information. Paul Robinson with Tepness Networks explains what some of those steps look like, such as two-step authentication. It's your password and then another thing. It could be uh, an SMS text with a code on it, or it could be biometrics. It could be your face or something like that. If email addresses came out and you know they're in the wrong hands, you can see an uptick in some spam attacks. The University of Rochester also has an outside data forensics firm joining the investigation. They have not determined who was behind the hack or where it came from. 